So this morning, that trailer, we're going along the road, myself and Dad, uh, fill it up with cattle, with three cattle away down to Glasgow, to Abattoir, they'll come back for the butchery. Also, um, there's a load of concrete panels coming today, another set of bunker walls coming. Um, Duncan and Kevin are both off on holiday. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly! So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Oh, it's class. Big break down. It's a drill working there. Update in here, this section's been done, so that was the section you've already seen. And then they've worked, he's worked his way into this corner. And there are three panels in there. And this section's up, so it's kind of boxing off that office there that'll be there. Soon, that panel down there is for that wall, possibly. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, definitely, that wall. But this stuff all needs to now be moved. So we'll shift it down into here. Yeah, he's not in tomorrow, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. You wouldn't have seen Lulu much recently. Good dog. Just give you a quick uh, whiz round the animals this morning. Not already put them in recently, but rent them every morning. Lulu usually joins me on the quad bike. Sometimes she can't be bothered. So we've got three Highland cows up in this field now. There was four, but one that went away to the abattoir, uh, and we still have three three along the road. See where that white house is? There's a field just in front of that where they all are. But these are getting fed so they can put on a bit of weight so they're worthwhile uh, killing and putting through the butchery. Sheep are getting on absolutely fine. Come flying in in the morning. There's Spud. Spud? Spud's getting pretty big now. All the lambs, you can almost not tell the difference, but anyway, one, two, three lambs. Ducks just kind of chill with them. The ducklings are no more ducklings. They are the same size as these ducks. As you can see, the cows are pretty hungry. They've come charging in. There's not a huge amount of grass down there, as you can see. But that moisture and just a bit of sunlight soon should give it a boost. Cows fed, gate shut. I'll go away in that trailer now, along the road, to pick up three cattle. Loaded. I'm um, just going to go around these cattle in here needing fed and hay to chew on. Kev usually looks after these animals, but he's in holiday, so we'll get them this week. Before I take those cattle away, I'm just going to put the chains back in the forks because the, there's more blocks coming. There's eight coming today, so we have had to do that. Just put them on. These are the lifters that you use as well, so got them out of the other blocks. Loaded up. It was just uh, one tire, so it's going to be a bit soft, so I was just checking it. Um, also did a bit of an experiment. So weighed the trailer and uh, discovery on the way to pick them up, which was three. 3,640 kilo, weighed on the way back, 5,640. So there's two ton of cattle in there. And basically we're gonna see what dead weight we get when these come back. They'll be kind of roughly 400 kilos. And then we're gonna compare that to when we put cattle away next time to ABP, which is more like a commercial supermarket um, a slaughterhouse. So the meat will go to the slaughterhouse, if, uh, to the supermarket if we do it through there. So. We'll also weigh them when we put them through there and then we can kind of compare to see um, what kind of kill out each party is doing. Third load of uh, bunker walls, I'll get them to move in front of that door because they'll be going into that shed. Got the chains on now, so ready to go. Jump in the flat lift. Get them unloaded and I'll take those cattle away down to the abattoir. 
block number two. They come off all right. The chains are a wee bit dodgy at the start, just taking up the slack and kind of jumps. But once you've had one or two off, it settles itself and they come off nice and easy. Number three, number four, halfway. Number five, six, seven. And that's eight. Still, is there two or four to come? One corner piece and then either three or one of these, I can't remember. It's 40 meters worth. Gordon's on the eggs today. There's a delivery there for the shop. Just about to take those cattle away. But uh, niece's uh, toy was lying in the middle of the road, so get that back. Right, we're off, finally. Another shop delivery. Uh, and loads of them. There's five bunker walls in the next load. One corner, four normal straights. Just at Stirling Market at the moment, actually. Um, just on the way back from picking up those, uh, dropping off those cattle at the abattoir. And uh, this is where the vet is. I'm going to pick up a bottle here. Uh, it's Ultra Pen. So it's penicillin product. Um, it'll be for that cattle beast that's got a, that cow that's got a sore, sore back leg. Um, hopefully that'll clear up. It's kind of long lasting penicillin. Um, it's one mil per 15 kilos of body weight, so she'll be mid 600s, so 45 mil ish, something like that. Home, trailer's off, down at the wash bay. Need to wash that in a minute. Go we'll grab some lunch. Um, also, need to put this medicine in the medicine cupboard. Had a wee delivery. So, this is a new wee uh, creep feeder we've ordered. Ordered it a few weeks ago, so here now. Uh, so it's a Walter Watson from Ireland. Um, they're quite big steel manufacturers and whatnot. So we bought it through sellers, same place we bought the combine in the last trailer. So that'll do us fine. So the objective with a creep feeder is effectively it'll feed the calves only and the cows and the bull won't be able to get in. So you can kind of chuck food at the calves and keep them going so we want to increase their weight as they're growing and not the cows. So here it is, blue to match everything else on the farm, the trailers, the tractors, combine's not blue, forklift's not blue, but anyway. I uh, need to go and get a spanner to take that. Now look, nut off so I can open this, but basically that folds up, there's a hopper in here, fill that with a forklift, and then over here, there's bays, so the calves can go in here, but the cows can't get in, and then they can eat in that trough there. You can alter the spacing between the bays. This bar comes out. You should move these about. You can also alter this um, block bar to increase the height or lower the height, depending on what you're wanting to let inside of it. Three point linkage as well. So if you want to put it on the back of the tractor to shift it, you can. Uh, and then obviously the bar across the top to shift it with a forklift. And that's basically it, pretty simple. Simple piece of kit, but should make a difference, should be able to build up the calf's weight um, and kind of push them on, start them eating a supplementary diet rather than just grass and milk and keep it away from the cows. So that's the plan. Ideally, one of these five bay feeders to 20 cows is, is uh, suggested, so that's worked out perfect because we've got 20 cows and 20 calves. Would have put it straight out, but um, the paint's not quite cured, I can kind of dig my nail into it. So I'm going to leave it in the, field, in the shed for a couple of days, let the paint cure a bit more and get a bit harder before I put it out. Otherwise, cows and whatnot and the bull will be rubbing up against it and the paint will just rub off it immediately. Today's question of the day on this. Why is the top of this hopper shaped with that cross in the middle? Anyway, that's a creep feeder. It'll go out in a few days. Just going to lift these blocks up. First four standing, four to go, and then another lorry load of five tomorrow. I don't know how the corner piece will stand up actually. It's all starting to come together now. Panels are here, a third of the concrete floor is done. Uh, shed guys coming back on Monday, it's Wednesday today to finish off. They'll need a week to finish what they need to do at the shed. All looking good, all going relatively smoothly. Seems too smooth, don't want to speak too soon. There was another delivery yesterday, these, these panels of sheets. They're basically one go short on the end here. Um, I don't know, really know what happened, whether they were just planning on bridging it with the, the end flashing or not, but Ian Rawson's kind of looking after the whole shed build because it's all through him. So 
he's made sure they've got more sheets to do that uh, and then obviously uh, uh, apex cover there still can't believe it took three weeks to go from a level flat pad to all that you see there three weeks some people take years to build a house and things like that three weeks for that cracking <laughs>